My name is Jay, and I am insane and crazy. The open beta release for Brawl of Ages is finally here. Today I'm going to go over some decks and strategy to improve your first few games and help you choose key cards for the future decks. Since the release of Brawl of Ages, I have made 5 decks. One that uses cards from the basic set, others that re require at least 2 rare cards unlocked to a slew of legendary cards. So this first deck is a free deck that you can make. Um, Carter you unlock a little bit later through your your silver spins that you unlock for free. Um, but this deck will work against most decks in the meta right now. Um, today I'm going to be showing I think between four and five different decks that I've made currently since the game has released in the last couple days. Um, maybe let's see. So this this is a free deck that you can make. Um, this deck here, if you have just a little bit extra valor, you can unlock Gokong, Soul Rift, Abominations, and Eclipse. Eclipse maybe you can hold off on just off on because it's a little bit more expensive, costing 35,000 uh, valor. And maybe abominations you can hold off on too, using the Brawler Brigade or the Brawler Guards, which are free. Um, Gokong is needed though, because he is a siege unit and he can leap across the water, which is a very, very strong unit. And the Soul Rifts are also very strong. Um, out of all the soul rifts that they do spawn, they would spawn double the amount of mana cost if they were to spawn separately. So this is a very strong building as well. I enjoy using abominations because they can survive 4 hits of any damage, so they are kind of like a mini tank. And Eclipse can do up to 2500 damage to any unit, So, or it could be split to multiple units. So it can be very useful. Some other cards to be noted that could be used are Retribution. It can strike up to three enemies at a location dealing 1100 damage, which is a very strong card as well. And then the two spells I'm using are Missile and Rocket Barrage, which are free spells. Um, the next deck I built here was the Elemental deck. I call it Elemental Power, power just because it uses the Tempest which is freezes people, the Powder Keg which poisons people, um, Lightning which, is, which uh, is Lightning, and then Cyclone which is a Cyclone which kind of like messes everything up and then Eclipse is another spell. Um, but this deck here, is, you want the powder keg to get to the to the opponent's tower, and the poison aurora will do some damage to an area. So you can kind of block off an area for a little bit, or take down targets such as like a rat pack if they're going down. You just kind of put down the powder keg, kind of let them explode, and and do a nice trade and get a nice trade off there. And next I made the Siege deck. So the idea with this deck, you can put down the Soul Rifts in the back, um, and then kind of let those push down one of the sides. And then um, down another side you can do the Rat Pack, start a push down both sides. And then whichever side is doing well, you can put a Golem Tower in the back, Lightning Tower beside it to defend it, and then a Gokong to push. Um, let's see if we can get into a game with this deck because it is fairly, fairly fun to use. There we go. So let's see this deck in action. The Siege deck that I made. It's just taking a second to load here. It's the first time I've loaded up today. Okay. Um, so here we're going to start off with the Rat Pack in the back to show the split push. 
Um, he's putting down a mana thing that whatever units he put down is gonna give him extra mana. But this isn't too bad right here. It, this deck is very defensive as well, or it can be. Um, and now we're getting a very nice push down so we could easily just put this down and let the push continue. And then Gokong also can make the push continue as well, but we're not going to put that down. I think it's two hits, one more hit away from finishing that off, but it's not a big deal. It's a rocket away as well because it does 300 damage to towers. We put down the Soul Rift down at the bottom to get the Soul Rifts to push. Next we can do some defense and we'll put down the Lightning Tower in the back. And then we'll split the Rat Pack as well. Now that he used his rocket. And now he has to figure out which side he has to defend or what he wants to do here. Because that side's pretty much mm. taken out. And I can go like this as well. And this will pretty much all get taken out now. So this is still a rocket away. I'm not really too worried about it. I'll rocket it now because I don't want him to get any extra... too many extra cards off of that. He took out this, but that's okay. We're still one tower up. And we can play it slow. We're in no rush in this, in this game to win right away. So here... We'll just wait here. We're in no rush, like I said. Because I have enough... I, we have enough cards to defend against everything here. And now we're starting a push for ourselves. Right when this gets all close enough, I'll put something down there. Something in the back. He may actually win here. No. Close. This is a very close game. He's not quite gonna finish it off there. And then I think I got the win here. Good game, Mighty Moob. So that's the idea behind that deck. It's usually better in the beginning of the game. So that's the Siege deck. And then the final deck I'm going to show today is the Treasure deck. Let's see if we can get in a game with this one. Um, so with this deck... Um, basically it's more of a Siege, siege deck. It's some defense, but more sieging. Um, the Treasure Goblin is a unique card because it, um, see if I can find it because it won't let me read it from there. Um, the deploy effect lets it stun all units within a three tile radius and then when it dies it also transmutes the nearest unit into a, a piece of gold and dies itself which is very nice. So <clears throat> the Tempest is also a unique card which it, deals AoE damage and slows units. Carter is a cool card as well. It attacks uh, units from extreme range. Um, and it'll still attack people, it, everyone from range here. We'll go like this just to get that to attack on this side now. that to attack. And another cool card that I'm using here is a card called Vex. It can be deployed anywhere on the map and it fires nine heat-seeking missiles in its radius that you can barely see the outline of. And they each do 110 damage, which is fairly strong. So here we're gonna 
go like this and Vex. Let's see if it works. It may. No, not quite. That's okay, we can put Carter down on the other side and they'll finish these guys off quite efficiently. Carter's a very strong unit. Then we'll stick the Tempest on the top. The very strong unit for only the cost of six. We're gonna move him back. Because we don't want him really to attack the tower. And now I can stick a Gokong down to run across. We'll kill the make sure we kill the tower and get some damage down on the sorceress here. We'll just finish her off as well, because it can be a very dangerous unit to deal with. Same with the, the wizard here. We'll stick this down on the back, and then we'll stick this down in the middle here, just to make it so it attacks. He took that down, but that's quite alright. We're doing lots and lots of damage down to this tower in the bottom. We're just a missile and a meteor away from killing it. And then I will go Kong. And rocket this. And that'll be enough to kill this. And then I'll Carter on the other side just to put something else down. I'll meteor all this back and rock it. And then that's enough to finish this game. And that's my elemental deck. Oh, I'm my treasure deck, sorry. So that's the one with the treasure goblin. So there are five pretty balanced decks here, so we'll go over them all once more time. One more time. There's this free deck here that you can unlock just by use just by the cards that you unlock regularly. Um, the Yeti's the tank. Malady is the unit that I was using, putting down in the back, spawning the imps. Bo's a unit. He's kind of tanky, but. Um, the best part about him is he gains speed and damage after 2.5 seconds. Um, Shadow League, you, it's similar to Vex, but it spawns units in the back. Carter's the ranged unit I was using. Shank is another tank-like unit. Uh, Vermilion was the units that he was putting down in groups of three, but this is a single one. The Imps are the, the units that were spawning out of the, the Malady here. And then missiles and rocket barrage. In the second deck, my best starter deck, we changed out three cards with Gokong, the siege deck, the siege unit I was using, Soul Rift, the unit I was using in the first game, Abominations, and Eclipse. In the Elemental Power deck here, um, using a couple different units. With the Rat Pack that he was using, Zach who's a little bit of a different unit, he spawns Abominations. Um, and yeah, most of the other units we saw. And then the next one was the Siege deck that we saw. This deck was quite fun to use. We barely won that deck game though with 160 health left on our tower. And then the final deck was the treasure deck. The treasure deck was was quite fun. You could put Vex in the back, lots of ways to get into the back of the opponent's base with Gokong and Vex. Over the coming weeks I'll be playing with all sorts of decks and trying all new strategies, so make sure you come back to my channel often. I often I also stream on Twitch Monday to Saturday, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific, with the link down below. So if you enjoyed this video on some decks of Brawl of Ages, hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Sane and Crazy out!